Uh, both are about abuse. One is about the abuse of a bully, and the other is about the abuse of a woman on a young man's heart. <laughs> hey, Nick, are you wanting to do your comedic first or dramatic? dramatic? You're hurting, so you cause weakness in me, and you hurt me. You're hurting, so you hurt. You're damaged, so you damage. You're feeling pain, so you cause pain in me. And it has to stop. I must end the hurting. Not for you. Oh, I must find... Um, I must do it for me. That's the end. Yeah. And I must do it for me. I used to hate black coffee, but let's face it. Black coffee is manly. You think Clint Eastwood ever took two sugars and a cream? No. Clint Eastwood's a man. And the girls love the manliness. Once at a dance, I encountered a waitress who would forever change me. Oh, that Jenny. Such a lovely girl. So clearly for Jenny, I had to show off my manliness. Or at least act the part. So I ordered a lumberjack slam, extra ham, a slice of carrot cake, and of course, a clincher, black coffee. Unimpressed with the manliest of meals, which would have wowed most waiting persons, Jenny tried to break me. She brought me more and more and more and more coffee, but one. Uh, oh, I downed. Oh, I downed the breakfast before the rest of my family even finished their three pancakes. But that coffee, I just couldn't back down. I'd come too far to chicken out. Jenny brought the check. She topped me off with my 11th cup. And, uh, line. I tried to manage it. I tried to manage it down, but, but it was too much before. Light bulb. Uh, uh, before, while no one was looking, I dumped the rest of my coffee in my grandmother's cup, mock sipped it, slammed it down on the table, and stood to the door victorious. I drink my coffee black. Same reason guys do anything to impress ladies. Thank you.